Hello, a lot of you have asked me how I've extracted the coffee using the bottomless port filter. I'll go through some of the things that I've used. First of all, to weigh your beans, I'm just using a two decimal places scale. And I'm just using the standard coffee scooper that came with the machine. I'm using a manual grinder here. Um, it's just a Java Pressy uh, copy. But what I did was install a nut, extra wing nut on the bottom there. What I found that if you don't have that, this tends to loosen um, while you're grinding. So your grind settings or your grinds that come out of the um, grinder will be inconsistent. So this holds it in place. I've got two these baskets. One's a double and one's a single and you can see that they're both non-pressurized. You can see right through them. <clears throat> and this is the modified bottomless porter filter. So all it is is the bottom cut off. Uh, this is the original one over here. And this is uh, an aftermarket one I bought that just fits and all I did was uh, saw off the bottom with a hacksaw and a grinder. Um, I still use this. Um, what I did was I replaced the uh, original basket with a piece of plastic um, because when I'm actually frothing the milk I've found that if I have this in place to block the pressure from the group head you get a lot more better pressure from the steam wand. Um, and I just use the brush to clean the uh, manual grinder once I'm done. I also use some pre-cut coffee filters to put into the baskets. That's optional. You don't have to do that. Temperature gauge for the milk frother. I also use the tip of it to distribute the grounds of the coffee before I tamp it with the standard tamper. A lot of people get quite um, excited about buying metal tampers and so forth. I don't think it makes a difference. Um, as long as you're grinding properly, distributing the grinds properly, tamping at a consistent pressure, um, you can get the uh, proper extractions. This works better, much better. It's a one cup, that's a two cup. Um, different cups. Um, I use this if I just wanted a straight coffee shot. When I first started, I used this measuring cup to see how much I was yielding, so how much coffee I was putting into the grinds, uh, into the basket, and how much was actually coming out. You can also weigh it as well when it comes out under the uh, under the machine. But obviously, if it leaks, you just got to be careful that it doesn't damage the scales. This is a medium-sized cup. I used to have an espresso machine, so I've got these Nespresso cups still with me. This is a standard double walled cup. Uh, I normally use these for flat whites and lattes. And cappuccino style cup. I'll, I'll do a couple of other videos just to go through step by step how, how I actually extract the coffee from, uh, from start to end.